Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. And today I'm gonna to be looking at the new Ubiquiti Unify Cloud Gateway Ultra. This is a gateway with a network controller built into it, which doesn't sound like a crazy concept because Unify already do that with their dream machines and their dream routers, etc. But they've also recently released some other gateways, which I like the gateway light, for example, which just have they are just a gateway they have no network controller built into them so this one is slightly different and i think this is going to be the one that people prefer because it's slightly easy to set up and you don't have to think about where that controller is going to go so i'm going to look at specs then i'm going to look at what you get in the box and then finally i'm going to go through the setup okay so let's go on with the specs i'm in the um uk unify store and i'm under unified cloud gateways and here is the cloud gateway ultra so if we just select that so i'll just take a quick look at this and then we'll compare it to some other models so the first thing to notice is the price 94 pound 80 it's really reasonable price less than 100 pounds for a pretty capable gateway um, it runs the unified network application which is really important because it means you don't need a cloud key you don't need hosting from unify you don't need to run the software yourself it's all inbuilt which also makes the setup a little bit easier as well and it can have 30 plus unified network devices and 300 plus clients so really this is going to be used for homes and small business um, it's got one gigabit routing and it's got multi WAN load balancing. And if you just look on the back here, this port here, this WAN port is a 2.5 gig. So you can get a nice fast internet connection into this if you've got that available. Um, it's got four LAN ports on the back there. And I assume when you're doing a multi WAN that you're going to lose one of those WAN port, uh, LAN ports and it's going to become a WAN. So you've got two WAN and three LAN. It's got a little display screen on the front, which is quite a nice little feature. It's USB C powered. I've actually got an EU version because I couldn't get the UK one at the time. Um, but it's good to see that the UK version is now in stock because they've had a little bit of problems with stock. But this is really good. I think it's, I think it's going to sell really well. Okay, so let's just talk about what it hasn't got. It doesn't have any Wi-Fi, so they don't expect Wi-Fi to come from this device. And also, if you need a modem, then this doesn't have a modem built in. So if you've got a VDSL connection, you will need a modem to get this connected to the internet. Other types of connections, like fiber to the premise or Starlink, etc., you can just plug that straight into here. Okay, so let's just make a quick comparison to some other devices. So these are Unified Cloud uh, Gateways. So we've got, obviously, the more expensive uh, Dream Machines. Unify Express is designed for a much smaller deployment, so it's, it can only have four Unify devices on it as a network controller. Um, but it does do Wi-Fi. It's great for small homes, really. That's what I would say about Unify Express. You're not going to really use it much more than that, and it doesn't really allow you to expand much. But it is pretty cheap, so um, especially for people that just want you know quite a simple solution. Dream is a slightly older model, but really, a uh, really great product actually. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi 6 um, it built into it in the access point there. It's got uh, a couple of PoE ports, so you can uh, attach additional access points to it. Um, and also you can run things like uh, Protect or Talk and other applications from it. It's not just network. So the Dream is a good option, but it is quite a bit more expensive, almost twice the price. Right, so the other new gateways that are out at the moment, you'll notice I'm now under gateways, not cloud gateways, and that's because these don't have the controller software built into them. So you would need something like cloud key or hosting, whatever whatever your controller is gonna be. Um, the gateway light's a pretty nice model. A little bit more expensive than the um, gateway ultra. Um, it's only got one LAN and one uh, WAN, and those are both gigabit. I'm not sure why you would choose this over the gateway ultra, but it's, it's quite a nice little device. It's got its place, and I will do a video on that one shortly, actually. Gateway Max is essentially the same thing. It's just got more capacity. It's got 2.5 gig uh, LAN ports and WAN ports, but again, this doesn't have the network controller. I, I do think this one will do quite well as well because it's quite a good, uh, capable device, but depends on what your deployment's gonna be. Okay, so I think that's pretty much uh, the specs and comparison covered. Let's go on to seeing what we get in the box. Okay, so I've already had this box open, so it's not really a proper unboxing, but I haven't taken anything out, so I'll just open it straight up. It's got a nice packaging you would expect from Unify, and then the Cloud Gateway Ultra just kind of sits in the top. Um, we've got the very nice little LCD screen on the front here, and it just says Cloud Gateway Ultra here. I don't know if you can quite read that. I don't think the camera's quite in focus, but that's what it says. Uh, on the back, we've got our 2.5 uh, gig 
uh, WAN port, and then we've got our four LAN ports. We've got the USB, and then we've got a reset button here. On the top, it's got, just got the nice little Unify logo, and it's a really nice looking device, actually. It feels very solid. There's no uh, mounting on the bottom. It's just literally a flat base, so it's just gonna have to sit on something rather than being mounted to a wall, etc. But that is a, a lovely looking device, actually. It's really, really nice. All right, so just put that to one side, see what else we get in the box. Uh, so we just got a bit of card separating the bits. In here we've got a little patch cable, which presumably just go from your modem to your WAN. Um, and then we've got the power adapter, which is just the USB-C. Obviously I said that I've got the European one, so there's a different plug on this. I will have to use an adapter. There's also a little quick start guide in here, which you always get. And that is it. That's it in the box. So it's, uh, it's all pretty simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is for the setup video, I'm essentially going to plug my, I'm going to use a free mobile uh, 5G router just to get me some internet. And then I'm going to take one of these LAN ports and I'm going to plug it into a uh, flex or ultra switch, which I've got here. So I'm going to be using this for my PoE and then I'm going to put some access points onto this as well. So we'll just go through a sort of a basic setup of the network. Okay, so let's get on with that now. Okay, so let me just quickly explain how I've connected everything. So I've got 5G uh, modem, or it's actually a router, but it's in bridge mode. That's going into the WAN port in the back of the Cloud uh, Gateway Ultra. And then from one of the LAN ports, I've got cable going to the Unify Flex switch. And then I've got another cable going to a U6 Plus. Okay, so I've plugged my Mac into the Cloud Gateway Ultra, just into one of the LAN ports. Um, I'm going to be doing, doing this on the Mac, or I would recommend doing it on a desktop or a laptop or something. You can do like the initial setup on the app, but it's not really as good, so I would definitely recommend doing it this way. Um, I know which IP address that it's using for the gateway because it comes up on the little LCD screen on the front, but it's pretty standard for Unify anyway. So it's 192.168.0.1, press enter, and that's going to take me straight in. Now I'm using a DHCP internet connection type here. So I've not had to fiddle with any of the internet connections. It will just connect straight away. If you're using something like PPPoE, then you will have to put in those credentials and it will be under advanced internet uh, connection options. So just bear that in mind. So let's give this a name. I'm just gonna call it YouTube and then we will go to next. Right, so if you haven't got a Unify account, you can create one here, but otherwise you can just log in. So I can go to sign in and put in my details here. Okay, so it's gonna ask me if I wanna restore from backup. backup. I'm gonna continue without that. The first thing it's gonna do is just check my internet speeds. I'm not expecting great results here because this is just a 5G router sat on the side here. So we'll just let that do its thing. Okay, so once you've got your speed test, you go to go to next. And now it's gonna set up. This will take a couple of minutes, so I will come back to you in a moment. Okay, so once it's done its setup, you can just go to GAF dashboard. It's gonna tell you it's not private, don't worry about that. Just go through it, visit the website. And now it's gonna go through its updates, which again will take a couple of minutes, so I'll come back to you afterwards. Okay, so we've done all our updates. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is just go straight into network. You can if you want, this is where you would add things like uh, your additional admins, and you can see some information about system logs, etc. There's all sorts of bits in this console bit, but we're just gonna go straight into applications and network. So you can see it's already popped up some devices here or a device to discover. We go to our dashboard, and the first thing I'm gonna do is just go to Unify Devices and just get those ones adopted. So there's the Ultra Switch, so I'll click to adopt that, and then we'll also adopt the U6. So that, that will be happening in the background, and then we can just go through some of the setup. So it's all very familiar if you're used to Unify. Um, the first thing we would do is we'd go down to our settings down here, and we're just gonna set up a Wi-Fi network. So I'll just call this a YouTube, and we'll just give that password a password one two three and then we're just going to add that wi-fi network so that's done although the access point's not quite ready yet um that will be broadcasting from the unify network uh, from the unify access point there okay so let's talk about some other things we can do here if you want to set up some networks um you can do some vlans so at the moment we've just got a default that's just running on uh dot uh zero dot one or zero dot zero um, you can also just add some new networks if you want. So if you just want to do that, say for example, we wanted to have a um, guest network, we could just add a guest. Uh, we can let it auto scale or you can take that out and you can give your own subnet, whatever you want to do and your own VLAN. 
it will by default be on auto but you can manually change some bits and pieces here so for example if you want to put it on a guest network we can just tick that one there isolate network we can do the same thing that just effectively if you didn't want a guest network but you want to isolate it it just means that it's not um, you can't get from one network to the other essentially so from your default your guests would be separated but we just tick, tick, tick guest on that and then we can add that you can also do some other stuff down here like content filtering and stuff like that if you want to have it suitable for work or for your family etc say for example rather than a guest you wanted to have say kids you could just make them their own vlan and then you can put the family um content filtering on there like that let's say add and then what you would do with that vlan is if you create your uh kids network for example give it passwords we'll just do the same one password one two three and then you can associate that to the VLAN you just created. So that Wi-Fi will now be going through that VLAN with the content filtering on it and you just add it like that. Okay, so that's a really simple um, setting up of a VLAN and the Wi-Fi. Now some of the things I wanna look at on this, obviously we've got our devices which are now just gonna be, oh, that Ultra's already up to date, that's great. You probably need an update on the U6 Plus, but they'll be pretty much good to go. You can see here that 2.5 link for the WAN and then we've got the gigabit connections here I'll just update that so some of the key features that I think I'm not going to run through everything to do with Unify because uh, that's not what this video is about but some of the key features on this in particular this uh, Cloud Gateway Ultra for me is going to be the VPN service so what you've got is you've got teleport teleports a really useful um, way of VPN in, into your network the great thing about it is it's able to get past double NAT. So what that means, if for example, um, you're using another router and then you've got this one, or if you've got um, consumer grade NAT, so that means where your internet provider is using your IP address for more than one uh, premise, then it's very difficult to use a VPN to use a VPN. It's not impossible, but it's difficult to use a VPN, but Teleport is able to get past that. So some good examples, this, uh, Starlink. Starlink uses um, consumer grade NAT, so it means that essentially you can't easily VPN in. But with this device, because it's got Teleport, you can easily uh, VPN in. So it's very useful, um, very useful uh, feature on this device. The other thing you do get on these, and we saw it during setup, is you get speed test, which you don't get with the, um, the other gateways. So for me, that's another useful um, feature. And this is automatically onto your Unify account. So you can access this remotely as long as you've got an internet connection on both sides, then you can do that pretty easily. So that was, I mean, that was a really, really simple setup. We've managed to get an access point, a switch, and our network, you know, provisionally set up in a pretty simple way. Um, and it just took a couple of minutes. So I think that kind of speaks volumes for this, uh, for this device. So that's all I'm going to do on the setup. It wasn't complicated. I just want to show you how simple it was. And now I'm going to go on to my final thoughts on this device. Okay, so that is the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I think it is a lovely product. The fact it's got that inbuilt network controller is fantastic. The fact that it's so cheap is brilliant. If we were thinking we weren't sure whether or not we were going to put in a new gateway, the extra hundred pounds is really not going to break the bank, so it's it's always going to be worth doing. I've already used a couple of these, and I can tell you that they are great. Um, we've had no problems with them whatsoever, and I just generally think that we're going to put like hundreds of these devices in. So I would strongly recommend it. I think if you're thinking about whether or not you want to go for the non-cloud gateways, the only reason you might go for the non-cloud gateways um, is for the 2.5 gig ports. I mean, this has only got the one on the WAN. That might be the only reason. Also, just remember there is no Wi-Fi in this device, so you do need some kind of access point of, uh, of some form. But again, they're not overly expensive and very simple to set up. So the Cloud Gateway Ultra, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely product. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.